Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn the acoustic intro to Crazy On You by Heart. So this one's kind of quick, it's pretty advanced, moves all over the place. Uh, but there are some kind of consistent things throughout it. Um, so that'll kind of help you kind of speed up the process to uh, memorize it. So I'll point those out when they're there. Alright, so we're just in standard tuning here. We're going to slide into the 4th fret on the G string. And then the... Play the third fret on the B string. Now I'm finger picking this. Um, that's how it was recorded. I think since then she uses a pick to play a lot of this stuff. Um, but we're going to try to do it how the recording is. So we're going to slide up into that. Then you're going to shift back two frets and pick those two strings again together and then pull off to the open strings. Alright, now we're going to have this. So we're keeping a con trying to keep a constant A pedal just going with the thumb. As much as you can, try to recreate that feel. It's kind of, it's more of a feel thing. Uh, if you break it down exactly where each, you know, thumb stroke happens, it can get really confusing. So it's pretty much trying to marry the top line, which is the melody, with the that kind of thumb groove. You're not going to be able to do it every time, but most of the time you should. So on the top, we're going to be playing we're going to pull off three, uh, third fret to first fret to open string on the B string. Over to the second fret on the G string and then pick the first fret again on the B and back to the um, second fret on the G. So try to keep that thumb just going. Now we're going to pick the second fret, slide it up to the fourth string, uh, fourth fret on the fourth string here, then the open G string, and then the A string open twice with the thumb. And we're going to have this. So that's just the fourth fret on the G and the D string, then the open A, then the fifth fret here and slide it down back to that 4th fret. Then the two middle strings open there. And then that same shape we did up here, but at the 2nd fret. So slow we have this. Kind of start this over again. All right, so right here, instead of uh, when we do this, instead of doing this lick, we're just going to do every other time here. Uh, so the second time through, instead of doing that, you're going to jump down to this. All right, so let's work through that. We're just going to hear the 3rd fret on the 5th string, 2nd fret on the D, 2nd fret on the G. Pick across those, this thumb, index, and middle. Then you're just going to play the two outside strings, so it's the 5th string, 2nd fret, 1st uh, fret on the 3rd string. Then the low E string now, you're going to be kind of hitting that in between. You. So that's the low E string, open. Slide into the 5th fret on the A string, 4th fret on the G. Low E again, now you're going to play just 4th fret on the A, 2nd fret on the G. 
And now you're gonna play the second fret on the A string and hammer on the first string, uh, first fret from the open string on the G string. Low E string again. Now you're gonna grab the third fret here on the low E string, and you're gonna do a. This one's kind of difficult. You're gonna pick the sixth string and then you're gonna pick the open D string with your index. So the th thumb's gonna get this low string, and then on the G string, you're gonna pick that with your middle finger, and you're gonna pull off four two zero on it. All right, so we have. So you, we have, then we go back to the same phrase we started with. So it's the same ending as the first ending. Go back to it again. And now we have this different ending. All right. So basically the second ending and the fourth ending are different. So we're gonna have, here you're just kind of holding this chord shape. It's just like an A minor chord, just moved up two frets. So you're gonna be kind of three, four, five, and then two, three, four. Kind of working your way across. Then you're gonna quickly grab these two notes. Which is three on the B string, five on the high E. Then mute all the strings, hit the now the three open strings at the second, third, and fourth string. While you're doing that, jump up and grab the harmonic on the at the twelfth fret on those same three strings. So you have so you have time to shift there. And as soon as you do that, you gotta jump back to start the whole phrase over again. So we have. Uh, the first way of playing it. All right, now the third different ending. So basically we play the part, then we have do it again with a different ending, play the same part again, then a different ending, same part again, different ending. So we keep going back to that. That's always the first, third, and fifth time of doing it. So the sixth time through, which is our third ending. And it's basically, when we get up here, we just basically go. Which is just you're gonna play the fifth fret on the sixth string, uh, fifth fret on the fifth string, and then the fourth fret on the D string or the fourth string. So we're just gonna pick across those, then move it down two frets, and then start back over. All right. So as we do just that much of it, though, starting over, we basically get to the end of it. All right, so what's going on there? We start with an open G string, then the third fret on the low E string, then back to that G string, then the high E string open, then you gotta try to let these notes ring out, then fifth, I'm uh, no, sorry, third fret on the B string, one and zero, then two zero on the G string. Then we have the second fret here. Hit that twice, and then you're gonna do a pull off again at three one zero on the B string, and then grab that second fret there on the G string. So it's just like the the lick we've been doing the entire time. All right, now keep your first finger down. You're gonna pick the sixth string and the uh, second string together. Then play that third string. Then you're gonna pick just the sixth string and the third string together. And then hit the G string open by itself. So we have. One more time. All right, now just hold a simple G major chord. You're gonna hit this fourth and, I'm uh, sorry, the sixth and the third string together. 
then I'm now the fifth and the third string together. So they're only separated by a string. Now move each one of those over together. So we have five and three, then four and two, then three and one, back to four and two, and back to five and three where you started. So the only time you're not separated by just one string is that very first set where it's the sixth string of the bass. And you have that third, it's the sixth and third string, then five, three, four, two. All right, now I have this little ending here. So that's just open D string with the sixth fret on the B. So you do a quick little trill, hammer, I'm just sorry, just hammer and pull off five to six, back to five. B string open. Then you're gonna play the third uh, string at the fifth fret there. Now when you do that, it's gonna kill that open B. So make sure the bottom of that third finger hits it. Then we have open, high E string. Uh, then third fret on the B, five on the G string, four on the G string, six on the D, and then the low E. Alright, so obviously it's a very complicated little intro. The rest of the song is much easier and uh, you know, everybody knows it's a very popular song. So if you guys want to do all that, uh, just make sure this video gets 600 likes and I'll continue on and teach the rest of the song and open up. Alright, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.